In this video, I am going to explain anatomical relationship with ventricle and other places of brain. You know, lateral ventricle is very deep inside of the brain. That means ventricle has relationship with many other places. Okay, so I'm going to explain its relationship. I'm going to talk about lateral ventricle first. Okay, these are lateral ventricles. Let's get started. First tissue is this one. This is caudate nucleus. Caudate nucleus is part of basal ganglia, right? Caudate nucleus kind of runs, you know, parallel to lateral ventricle. This is caudate nucleus. You see the contour? You know, it runs along lateral ventricle. Okay, so caudate nucleus down. So let's go to next one. I am looking uh, brain from superior view. Okay, so what is this part? This part is thalamus. Thalamus is below lateral ventricle. Okay, so this is lateral ventricle. There is thalamus. Let's go to another place. I'm going to put cerebrum on this model, okay? I put cerebrum on brain stem. This is phonics. This light green structure is phonics. Phonix has relationship with lateral ventricle, kind of on midline part, right here. There's one more structure which has relationship on midline. This is corpus callosum. Corpus callosum should elongate a little bit more. That's why corpus callosum has relationship with lateral ventricle. You see that? And there is one another structure that has relationship with lateral ventricle, but you don't see in this position. Okay, so that is below lateral ventricle because you don't see it. Let me remove this model. Now ventricle is removed. This structure showed up. What is this? This is hippocampus. You didn't see hippocampus from previous view. That means Hippocampus is below lateral ventricle, right? So lateral ventricle is covering hippocampus like that. Hippocampus below lateral ventricle. And there is another structure here which you don't see. There is amygdala. Amygdala has also relationship with lateral ventricle. Okay, that was lateral ventricle. Now let me talk about third ventricle. This is on midline of brain. What kind of relationship does it have? The first place is this place. This place is hypothalamus. You know, this is midline and this is hypothalamus. Third ventricle with hypothalamus. And also that has relationship with optic chiasm. Optic chiasm. And you don't see in this model, there should be pituitary gland here, pituitary gland. So this place is very, very busy place. Hypothalamus, optic chiasm, and pituitary gland. If you go to posterior part, see this, this is pineal gland. Pineal gland, hypothalamus, optic chiasm, and pituitary gland. And it also has relationship with thalamus. You see this part? This part is interthalamic adhesion that connects right thalamus and left thalamus. And if you go posterior, there is habenula. Habenula is on posterior part of brain. Let's review relationship with third ventricle. Hypothalamus, optic chiasm, pituitary gland, Thalamus, interthalamic adhesion, pineal gland, and habenula, right here. So that's third ventricle. The last one is here, fourth ventricle. Fourth ventricle is very, very deep structure that penetrates brainstem. 
Yeah, that penetrates brain stem. So that has relationship with pons and medulla. Maybe there is connection with midbrain. However, midbrain has strong connection with cerebral aqueduct. In this video, let's say, let's say fourth ventricle has a relationship with pons and medulla. What is posterior to fourth ventricle? There is cerebellum. Cerebellum is here. Fourth ventricle doesn't have much relationship with other place. However, these structures are very important. This place has very primitive function like breathing, heart rate, and movement, balancing. This area is so, so important for primitive function. In this video, I explained you basic relationship with ventricles. Since ventricle is very deep inside brain, that has many relationship with other places. So if you liked today's video, please hit the like button, comment and subscribe. See you next video.